Hippie birthday, you old fruit. Who could be less boring than who, were it not the case that what exists for some people as the same old is for the others of others different. Try one more. Different how? How different hands when the gesture is some unbody else? An a terrestrial head, one flickering in the unfired light of never never mind. Is it still survival if you bring your own bag? Why have the shops gone black when the strange glade glows still? In the moonless contemplation of no one's proper name. I shall answer all these missed realizations. Should you guess the honest age of one who belongs to the future in a way that now cannot? Please palpate the lumpen skull of this saviourless creature who loves the ticklish taste of these ruthless mouthings. It will help you come to terms with the real word. For what the real word is for is this. Rhythmless song quest of that riddled stone they think they know all too well. The gemmed compost of pop stars. The central fixation of photonic loss. The musical concrete of the pavement's graven, gilded face. What locks eyes on the unseeing body dream and ripens that fruit the tree itself will eat. Splat you none on these long between roots, birthday suit. Splay you brave before the god's eyes free to call it an animal fink. Since the sunk shine makes it nigh time to always to always but one, says the one I am on. The one I must give up, but not give up on. The one I must shh to hear who is talking, then shh you too, till we understand what light is feeling and what light is done. Ah! Let us take a big breath here and remember what the trees look like when the people's frozen buildings thaw in the blue fire of the lingering flower who can welcome, who can welcome no feet but the winged. Well done was undone, well met, for well-meaning will not cut it no more. No more than it ever cut where the wound wound itself up. Now the rivers of the crying sky seem drip-like. But you have passed by what could not be remembered, forgotten red, the shitest seeds of light sleevings, sleevings, the bunny rabbit's top hat of actual elusivities, as naked as the space's water as crystal as your eye-slept salt, 
as revolting as the revolution of the real word for ever begging you to listen to the transient chink of that change that we have coined to replace the pyramid of star shit that is face with the architectural ego that makes no heart race. When this candle is blown, wish for nothing or else you wished for what was known. You wished for what is death. Thank Christ, the queen of cloudy days is not a crystal. That the dragon of the sun is not a star. That the language of the hedge, rose, is rust upon the sword-like tongue I ends up in. Green rust upon the untangled knot of this riddled stone's heart. That thought was thought over which wars were not yet ended. Give me your tongue and follow its brokeless lead to the involuntary twitch of what you must heed. This ageless command never to return here unless it be another world in the future. Then let us speak the language of action that no word is not. <clears throat> Willful. Wool fill. Well fell. As fresh washed skins do silk together. As well tended leather does not crack. As enamel holds the patterned scratch for no one's never lasting mind to change. All it takes is not all. It takes is not all. It takes is not all. But the unbroken loop that is outside when we are inside it, and inside when we are outside each other where nothing outside could be unless only meant only that the only hope is an un realizable gift such as this fool thanked task is for the dirt cleaned dirt. I watch you drip out the window in the windows things that are not windows and remember how my birthdays are meant to be sunny and smile. Do you recognise the words for the places of names you have never before been? I do. Somehow, in some strange way, you answer. Is it poetry? All I know is we need more sounds to stop them all running together. How children never will, unless the paths themselves be pleasure. But that is a word we know only too well. Oh my goodness, how I love to resist you. If I had known it was you I was marrying, I would have known 
I did not know what marriage was. How strange it is to look back and see the future. I promise never to ask that question of another soul and feel a sudden horror how no one ever asked it of me. My heart races where I can only have asked myself and yet the future needs no invitation. Between the lines there, between pulsations is where the moment used to meet. When it was not what I meant, and yet what I intended. And yet what I intended to welcome us to was a fortitude that cannot be revisited, wherein what moments must still mean has become momentum. And the smaller this moment gets, the more momentous. I will joy to retrace these steps, remembering the elegant applause in the way your face danced, my own ownerless heart, as I held to your senses, your so many delicacies, your infinite shades of smile, of lipped presencings, of greeted wave. I vow to confuse all I have and ever will love with you, spirit. And let them have it, let them have it. Even the desperate demon of confusion, even the whispering shame of the human, even the echoing crime of the child. Let them in, let them out. Let them have... What cannot be had? What I cannot have had, but must have. This bornless day of no exaggeration. When we listened again to what cannot yet have happened, with recaffeinated bellies like gentle hot water bottles made of black moo cow, we once tucked ourselves in to the ginger fur to let pass. Welcome, my threaded ends, to your person party. It is bliss to share these little disappointments like giant children around a middling white cake decorated with colours that taste the same. Blow yourself out and wish for no true flame but the one it will make in your place. When one rainy day you decide again that good must be greater than great although only a fool will say understanding is higher than wisdom then take the crown another notch down and shout up your bum wisdom up your bum My mouth is dry as the unspeakable cup in the dragon's belly. And I am happy to have followed through on such mistakes as I cannot have made alone. And contentedly think of the hedgerows and how I cannot know what they mean to you. And even though I do know what I mean, still look forward to asking if I was not trying to tell myself something else. Yes. It is a peaceful puzzle if you wrong foot the right-minded find of it, 
to imagine it doubling in its own powerless time, like a new god willing to be born in a smattering of tiny red apples, a black thing that is good for the heart. An alien with lovely long eyelashes that angels cling to, who feels like they will be the end of thought as the thinking of new beginning. Burn! Top, top, top! If you've half day, you fucking... Gave ourselves something nicies. Until next time, the spoon baggling dudes. I hope you like the poem. Sorry, I know anyone can do this, but it's still magic to me.
Hey. Limits. Hey. Happy birthday.